I grew up rural, and I didn't have a lot of friends. <laughs> you know, I was taking classical guitar lessons. It's not like I let to jam situation even if I had known anybody. So in a way, playing solo music is like the most pure form for me. And I have such a lifelong connection to the place inside of me that is satisfied by doing that. I stopped playing classical around when I was 19. I started becoming more influenced by blues and folk and country music that I had heard all my life but never played, and in particular, fingerstyle blues. Like, when I'm arranging a piece on guitar, I'm thinking about where the drums are, and that's my thumb. And then I'm thinking about where the piano is, which is usually my index or middle finger. When I was a kid, my brother played piano. I don't know how this happened, but I internalized the message that I was not allowed to play the piano. Well, I would eavesdrop on his lessons. Nobody ever knew that I was teaching myself. And if you listen to my records, the piano's there, but it's so subtle that you almost wouldn't know it's there. The piano will never be what's featured or the melodic thing, because it's just like this secret part of myself. I always think that my music has the cadence of footsteps. I notice that I'm always mid-tempo, and I realize that walking informs my composition process. There's a time where I'm not playing. I'm just like absorbing the quality of the light in a place or ambient sound. What it feels like to be alive wherever it is. Paying attention, it's just paying attention. I'm not that interested in ideas, honestly, for art. My aesthetic choices tend to be more conceptual, image, or emotionally driven. In the case of Lament, I wrote that song after seeing the photograph of Alan Kurdi, who was the Syrian toddler lying on the beach. And that photo just made me feel like all of the things, sadness, helplessness, grief, anger, rage, all of it. And to say that in a sentence, it's just a sentence, you know? Making a piece out of it was a way for me to move from that sentence into an embodiment of the feeling. <laughs> slide was because I wanted that melody to sound like a human voice, I think. The power of the voice is in the frailty, and I wanted that song to be sung in the way that a guitar can sing it. I'm doing a drone underneath that, also dissonance. I'm not afraid of dissonance. And I wanted that song to have drone, because like grief is a low hum, you know? <laughs> 